Hello, this is Rick from MathX, and today we'll be taking on the number 21 from the third, fourth grade Math Kangaroo of 2019. Now, this is another high ranking five pointer on a third, fourth grade Math Kangaroo. But just like a lot of other Math Kangaroo problems I've done on this channel, I'll show you how using some simple algebra on this word problem, this five pointer will be made astoundingly easy, further showing how powerful simple algebra is on math kangaroo tests. Anyways, without further ado, let's just jump right into the problem. In a park, there are 15 animals, cows, cats, and kangaroos. We know that precisely 10 are not cows, and precisely 8 are not cats. How many kangaroos are in the park? Now, to attack this word problem, the first step we would need to do is denote what we want to find as a variable. In this case, we want to find the number of kangaroos. So let's denote the number of kangaroos as k. Then, in order to find out the number of kangaroos, we'll also need to find out the number of cows and the number of cats. We can't put c because C could be cows or it could be cats. So instead, I'll say the number of cows is x and the number of cats is y. So now that we have all our variables defined, we can start writing some equations using these variables. The first equation we can write is using this first statement that on the park there are 15 animals. This means that the number of cows plus the number of cats plus the number of kangaroos is equal to 15. So we can write this as the number of cows, x, plus the number of cats, y, plus the number of kangaroos, k, is equal to 15. We can write our next equation based on the next statement, that precisely 10 are not cows. Well, in our variables, we don't have a not cow variable. However, we can find out how many organisms are not cows, pretty simply. If 10 animals are not cows, well, we know in the park there's only cows, cats, and kangaroos. So if they're not cows, they must be cats and kangaroos. So the number of animals on the park that are not cows is just the number of kangaroos plus the number of cats. So the number of kangaroos, k, plus the number of cats, y, will give us 10, the number of animals on the park that are not cows. Then we can build an equation off our next statement. Precisely 8 are not cats. If 8 animals are not cats, well that means they're either cows or kangaroos. So the number of animals not cats is just the number of animals that are kangaroos and the number of animals that are cows. So k plus x is equal to 8, not cats. And now, writing these three equations out, we have a classic systems of equation. We have three variables, and we have three equations to solve for these variables. Now, when solving a systems of equation, there are two different ways you can go about it. You can either use substitution or elimination. But in this case, I feel like elimination is the better option. For instance, if we look at this first equation, and which I'll label as 1, and the second equation I'll label as 2, we see that if we subtract the second equation from the first equation, we can cancel out the k and the y. This will leave us with the x. If we subtract the right-hand side of the second equation, from the right-hand side of the first equation, we're left with 15 minus 10, 5. So just like that, we solved for one variable by subtracting the second equation from the first equation. If we do the same thing with the third equation in the first equation, we subtract the third equation from the first equation, 
the K and the X cancel out. So we're just left with the Y on the left hand side. On the right hand side, if we subtract 8 from 15, well, 15 minus 8 is 7. So we got our second variable, Y is equal to 7. And to get for K, we can just plug in the values we know into the original equation. Since we know x is equal to 5, we can plug that in. We know that y is equal to 7, we can plug that in too. So we get that 5 plus 7 plus k is equal to 15. Subtracting 5 and 7 from both sides, we get that k is equal to 15 minus 5 minus 7. Now, 15 minus 5 is 10, and 10 minus 7 is 3, so we get that k is 3. And since k denotes the number of kangaroos on the farm, we see that there are 3 kangaroos on the farm, giving us an answer of b. So, this number 21 on the 3rd, 4th grade math kangaroo, a 5-point problem could be solved this simply. In this problem, we didn't do that many steps. We just set up variables for each of the animals. We wrote a couple of equations using what we knew about the animals. And then we just solved using basic systems of equations rules. So this little algebra got us five points on a math king guru test. So this further establishes the point I've been trying to make throughout several videos, that just by learning simple elementary algebra, you can dominate the math kangaroo test, as most of the most difficult problems can be solved quickly using this simple algebra. So in the future, when you're taking the math kangaroo test this year, before you take the test, try to get really good at algebra. And then that will really strengthen your chances of making it into the top 10.